TSA is horrible. We've thought this because we have eyes and ears for a long time, but now it is confirmed by a government test that TSA failed wildly. The TSA let people slip through security with illegal weapons and fake bombs, and it happened again and again and again at many of the nation's busiest airports. ABC News first reported on this. It's from a classified report from a government watchdog. We don't have it all yet, but the headlines tell much of the story. The report claims undercover teams from the Department of Homeland Security posed as passengers and set out to beat the system, and beat the system they did. Those investigators were reportedly able to smuggle mock explosives or banned weapons through checkpoints 95% of the time. 19 times out of 20, good to go with your fake bombs. A Department of Homeland Security spokesman tells Fox News it, in part, and I quote, the numbers in these reports never look good out of context, but they are a critical element in the continual evaluation of our aviation security. Mm. Or we might add, lack thereof. Kennedy is, on, is here with us. She's on at a new time, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 in Oxford, on the Fox Business Network, which launched its whole new thingamajig That's today. Right. Relaunched today, baby. S so proud Woo! of the Fox Business Network. They are killing it. Mm. This, though, on the other hand, is, is awful. They're killing freedom and liberty, and they make traveling Ooh. so incredibly difficult. And you stand there, you wait in line to yeah. go through airport security, and you see clumps of TSA agents just standing around doing nothing but TSA. waiting to harass you. Thousands standing around. They suck apples. Oh, the TSA, they suck apples. Yeah, it's, it's no good. So these Homeland Security red teams have gone through just posing as normal travelers, and they've got explosives, they got weapons, and they never get caught. Sixty-seven out of seventy times. That's ninety-five percent, as you said in the uh, in the intro. They just sailed right through. A, a man, a, one of these red team agents, even set off the magnetometer. That's the explosive whip, whiffing technology that you're supposed to go through. That's you know it sees your your bits and and also. Yeah like sucks in your noxious gases and it said to the agents like this guy has a bomb we know it's the big electronic robot and they patted him down and missed the bomb taped to his back <laughs> you fly uh you commute to work in new york from los angeles think of that commute to work in new york from los angeles so you know these people yeah every every week and i have to say like there are some really nice wonderful people yes, who work are. for the tsa yeah and I, I have to give a big shout out to paulette at lax because she gives me a hug every oh, week Miss and, Kennedy. and she calls me sugar and and she's really before this she softened my stance on the tsa because she really personalized the mm -hmm. experience and now i have to ask for a pat down oh well some <laughs> of us do uh i haven't heard Anything except ex sort of excuses and half and half stuff out of this. Yeah, y you wonder if they don't need to start over. They do need to start over. I mean, they tried starting over after 9/11, and you know they they formalized the people who were going through your stuff and yep. made it much more difficult. And you can't have your shoes on, and you can't have water, and you can't have all that nonsense, which doesn't make us safer. But the fact that they can't do their basic jobs, regardless of the minutia and fake protocols, uh, it's kind of scary. What's mm. the point of having them there in the first place if they're not even doing uh, the baseline of their requirements? They could find a four-ounce bottle of shampoo, no matter how bad you hide. <laughs> That's absolutely true. That shampoo they can get and a bottle of water <laughs> sends you off to the hoose gal for that. I but, accidentally had a, had a Leatherman tool in my bag, which had a blade on it, and I thought the whole thing was legal, and then they pulled me aside and gave me a stern talking to. Leathermen are not legal, but they found it. That's comforting. Well, they did, yeah. So I guess they'll, this report will come out, and then we'll hear a lot of things, and then we'll just keep flying. No, we'll see some more of the specifics and what will happen is absolutely nothing. If you remember, uh, there was a TSA agent who was shot and killed at LAX and at the time they were talking about arming all of the TSA agents. And now you see, if they yeah. can't even detect guns, ooh, ooh. they certainly shouldn't be allowed to carry them. That's a good point. Thank you.